Five to six is what? Similarity. Okay, similarity. After I when after I talk and something just every minute just talking 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 every minute just talking never stop okay so first what is similarity the same is the same but the size is different if the size and the shape both of the same they are congruent how to find two shapes are the same? Correspondent angle must be congruent. Triangle, three angles, correspondent angle, correspondent angle. 30, 30, 50, 50, 180, 180. Do you understand, please? But the side, proportional. After they do assignment, what means proportional? The ratio is the same. I'll give you an example, okay, please? This question, I'll give you an example here. If you watch this one, this question must be happen to your quiz and the test, babies. Okay? You still don't take care. When we were in school, no teacher can say, oh, this question happened to test. This question was quiz. Teacher are fired. Now I give you this question it will be there. You still don't take a look. So if the ratio for three angles is three to four to five, this one just changed the three to seven to ten. I show you step by step. So first angle is three x degrees. Y is not three degrees. Three is not a degree, it's a ratio. Yes. Second angle should be seven x degrees. Angle three is 10 x degrees. The three angle sum should be how many degrees? 180 degrees. So angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals to 180 degrees. Three, 10, 7, 20. So you get x equals 9. You plug in 9 times 3, 27 degrees, 63 degrees, 90 degrees. Then you find every angle. Do you understand me, please? Yes, good. Now, what is the proportion? First, proportion made by 3 are two ratios. A over B is a ratio, C over D is a ratio. If two ratios are the same, this is a proportion. Or we say these are proportional. A over B equals C over D. We call A and D are extreme, mean B and C, because AD equals to BC. So AD are two extremes. BC are two means, okay? Now, the question like this must happen to your quiz and test. 90 over 32 equals to 70 plus 3 over 15 d minus 11. Have you learned the pro cross multiplication? Mm -hmm. Cross multiplication, don't make a mistake, okay? After cross multiplication, this is a quadratic. This must be required. You need to know how to solve quadratic equation. Every question for test or quiz can be factorized. If you factorize one minute, half a minute for each, you cannot factorize maybe five, 10 minutes for each. Maybe you made a mistake. So that's why we use one way to review factoring at the beginning. So if you are still not good, you need to know this part, please. Because of time, we cannot go over again. Now, what is the geometric mean? I give you an example here. So if you read the my word, the geometric mean of two positive numbers a and b. So a times b, then square root, you get a geometric mean. I'll give you an example. Okay, so a over x equals x over b. Cross multiplication. X squared is ab. X is square root of ab. We say x is a geometric mean of a and b. For instance, 
six and twenty-four are two numbers, positive. So the geometric mean equals to six times twenty-four square root. Do you understand me, please? Yes? Not a plus. Every year I told the class, don't plus something that just plus for me, okay? I tell you, don't do that, you just do that. Six times 24, you can six times six times four. Six, six, get out. Two, get out, you get a 12. So, algebra two teacher is not against me. You don't take any points away. They don't simplify. I told them, if I take some points away, they can have no points. Maybe negative, right? Negative three points. So, I don't require you simplify. Doesn't mean simplify is important. Simplify is very important. But we have so many students, they just don't know how to simplify. If we focus on simplify, we cannot teach geometry. Do you understand, please? So if you cannot do, you get 144 for my class, I will not take any points away. Do you understand, please? It doesn't mean this is good. This is not good. This one, 50 times 45, same thing. 50 times 50 times 3, you get 50 square root of 3. If you cannot get this part, you give me something like this. I will not take any points away. But the answer should be like this. So do you understand me, please? Yep. You get this one means you are good. You get this one means you are so so, right? It's not that good. Yes? Now, we have prop properties of proportion. We have four proportion, uh, pro properties are required. But in fact, we have more than 20 properties are required. I will write on the board later if you are interested in it. We require more than 20 when we were in school. But we are so lucky, teacher only give you four. Mm -hmm. But page 370 on the top, 34, 35, 36 are three properties, are very important properties. Mm -hmm. We just do assignment. Again, if you do understand, answer key is on the board. You use your, your beautiful iPhone, not only talk to your boyfriend and girlfriend, you need to do something really. Oh, do you understand, please? Use your iPhone, just email, just do some stupid stuff. We only require four properties. First one, if A over B equals C over D, then AD equals to BC. Who can tell me how to get this property? Yes? Cross, cross multiplication. Do you understand her, please? B times C, BC, A times D, AD. By cross multiplication first, easy work. Second one, who can tell me how to get to the second? Yes. You distribute the numbers. Okay, so what? Uh huh. How to? So like, for example, like a, for example, like a times d, you get like a and then b times c, b c. It just depends what you have. Sure, sure. I understand you. Yeah. My question is, how to remember this one? Or solve. Or. Yeah, yeah. How to remember this one? Yes. Yeah, just flip. You will a denominator switch. A over B, B over A. C over D, just D over C. Do you understand, please? Yes. Just flip, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Number three, number four. If A over B is and C over D, then A over C equals B over D. How to remember this? Yes? B and C like they switch places. Mm, not, no, yes? Numerator over numerator, <laughs> denominator over denominator. You can see, numerator A over C, B over D. Do you understand, please? Good. Last one. If A over B equals C over D, A plus B over B equals C plus D over D. How to get this? How to remember this? Yes? Yes. Denominator, same. Keep the same. Numerator, add, numerator add denominator as a new numerator. So A plus B, C plus D as a new numerator. How to prove? Okay, please. From this side to this side, prove. You can write right side equals to A over B plus D over B equals to C, plus C over D plus D over D. Do you understand, please? 
right side. A over B plus B over B. C over D plus D over D. A over B plus one, C plus D over one. One, one cancel. A over B equals C over D equals to left. This is one way to prove identity. Please, right side, this side. A over B plus B over B equals C over D plus D over D. D over D is one, B over B is one, you cancel. A over B plus equals C over D. Because that's the left side. So you prove from this side to this side means left side to right side must be the same. Do you understand, please? Yes. So 34, 35, 36 on page 370 is proved. If you cannot prove, look at the word on the, the answer key on the board. Next part, I think the most important for test, please. If two figures are similar, corresponding angles must be congruent. Rectangle, every angle is 90 degrees, shape is the same, but Corresponding sides, six over 10, you can see. Six over 10, corresponding side, equals to three over x. Do you understand me, please? So you can cross multiplication before you can simplify. And uh, this one is one, this is five, x equals to five. So when x equals to five, those two are what? Similar. We need to prove this side and this side. No, because this side, this side is the same. We need to prove this side and this side. No, this side, please. Yes. Because this is six, this is three, this is three, this is six. This is five, this is 10. You just, for the rectangle, you just prove two pairs. But if this is a pentagon, you have to prove every corresponding side. This side, uh, this side, this side, this side, this side, and uh, this side. And you have to prove every corresponding angle congruent. So lots of work. Do you understand, please? Good. This question. Two more slides, three maybe. Okay, please. I know. How to find the BC? If two triangles are similar, C, B, D, C, A, C e are congruent, similar, I'm so, so, so similar. Corresponding side, B, C to C, A, C, D to C, E, you have, for instance, this X, X over X plus 12 equals 24 over 24 plus 18. Do you understand, me, please? But for this question, you can take an easy way to solve. You can solve x over 12 equals 24 over 18. But we have not learned that formula now yet. Be careful. This formula should be very careful. Why? If this side is y, this is 20, for instance. Something they use this way. 20 over 18 equals to 20 over y. Is that correct? It is not correct. How to get this part? 20 over y equals to 24 over 24 plus 18. Because this side over this side equals to this side over this side. Not this side over this side. So this side over this side equals this side over this side is good. But this side over this side doesn't equal this side over this side. I will give you some example later, okay? So this part must be there. And uh, this question I will show you later. 100% there, okay? So please, scale drawing. This part I believe you really learn. Edge one teacher or before edge one have you learned one inch on map and uh, 100 miles on the actual lens. Have, have you learned this part, okay? Not if it'll work. Now I'll give you some examples. And uh, mm -hmm. yes, a map has scale of four inch for one mile, means one inch on map 
stands for one mile. So first question, how far apart two cities that are 10 point? How to solve? Four inch for one mile equals to 10.5 inch for X mile. Do you understand me, please? Yes. If I change the second question, the second question is 350 miles, two cities, 350 miles. How to find how many inch on the map? You same thing, four inch for one mile equals to X inch for 350 miles. Do you understand me, please? Yep. Yes? Mm -hmm. On map, four inch for 10, uh, for one mile. This is map is 10.5 inch. How many real miles? This one, we already know 350 miles. On the map should be X inch over 50, 350. You use this formula, you cannot make a mistake. Don't worry, don't make a mistake. Two feet, this is five inch. You cannot, this ratio is not like this. You get 24 over five inch, inch. Do you understand, Chris? You have to get the same unit. 24 over five, this is the ratio. Do you understand, Chris? The ratio is not two over five. It's 24 over five. You have to get the same unit, inch for inch, feet for feet, miles for miles. Do you understand, Chris? Everything is on the board. And uh, again, the test, five uh, sites, perfect work, you can make a copy. You can use the iPhone. 6.1, 6.2, 6.3 uh, is on the board. Now you do your assignment. I check some students' beautiful work, okay? So one by one.